Hello? Is this H. Powell of Detroit, Michigan? Yeah. By any chance does D.H. stand for Herbert? Yeah. Woo-hoo! Woo! D.H. stands for Herbert! Herb, were you adopted? <gasps> yeah. From the Shelbyville Orphanage? How did you know that? Because... I'm your baby brother, Homer! Hello? 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 Stupid! Hey, hey, knock it off! I'm here. I'm just silent because of the emotion involved. Oh, sorry. Homer, I think we need to get together. Okay, brother, grab the next plane to Springfield. We've got a couch that folds out. I'll tell you what. Why don't you come here? Oh, every day we're losing ground to the Japanese, and I want to know why. Oh, unfair trade practices? <laughs> Mushy-headed one-worlders in Washington? Uh, some sort of gypsy curse? I'm tired of excuses. Why'd I ever hire you, Harvard deadheads? Because you went there, sir. Yeah, but Mommy and Daddy didn't pay my way. I had to work my way through washing your dishes and scrubbing your toilets. Oh, yeah, now I remember you. Have you come up with a name for our new economy model? You're gonna love this, Chief. The Persephone. Persephone? Mm -hmm. What the hell kind of name's Persephone? Uh, she was the Greek goddess of spring and rebirth. Oh! Get this, sir. She was carried off to Hades by the king of the underworld. While there, she ate six pomegranates. People don't want cars named after hungry old Greek broads. They want names like Mustang or Cheetah. Vicious animal names. The problem with you guys is you've forgotten your roots. You, what are your roots? Well, I guess you could say they extend to when the Angles met the Saxons. <laughs> In other words, when white met bread. Sir, uh, we'd love to know what your roots are and, and what they have to teach us. <gasps> I have no roots. All I know is that I'm just a lonely guy. Oh, Good Lord. Marge, this can't be the right address. Hello in there. Homer? Herb? You look just, just like... like except you got a little less. more... And, and a little, little more. less... God, God I, feel I feel so... Homer! Homer! <laughs> Homer. <laughs> Welcome to my home, brother. Holy moly, the bastard's rich! Herb, allow me to introduce my family. This is my wife, Marge. Mom? Hello. You old dog, she's gorgeous. Thank you. And our three children, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. Hello, sir, Mr. Powell. All born in wedlock. Yeah, well, the boy was a close call. Mm. So, Lisa, are you the little hellraiser your father told me about? No, sir, I can assure you I'm not. I'm the little hellraiser, sir. Would you like to hold the baby, Herb? Oh, I'm afraid I wouldn't know how. I... Oh, what's to know? Just dive in. Catch. Woo. Oh, that new baby smell. Homer, you're the richest man I know. I feel the same about you. While you're here, I want you to make yourselves right at home. Anytime you're hungry, anytime, day or night, Cook will make you anything you want. Even pork chops? Absolutely. We have a tennis court, a swimming pool, a you screening room. You mean if room. I want pork chops even in the middle of the night, your guy will fry them up? Sure, that's what he's paid for. Now, if you need towels, laundry, wait, maids... Wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I got this straight. It's Christmas Day, 4 a.m. There's a rumble in my stomach. Oh, my <laughs> Your old man sure loves pork chops. <laughs> he sure does, Uncle Herb. Bart, Uncle Herb sounds so formal. Do you think you could call me Unky Herb? Oh, no problem, Unky Herb. <laughs> He's adorable. My nephew's adorable. Okay, Homer, pick out anyone you want. Are you sure you want to give me a car? Hey, you know how much these things cost me? There's maybe 40 bucks worth of steel in them. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'd like a big one then. We don't have a big one. Why not? Because, because Americans don't want big cars. Well, then give me one with lots of pep. Sorry, uh, cars don't have pep. Why not? Uh, because Americans, Americans want good mileage, not pep. Homer? Tell the nice man what country you come from. America. Do you hear that, you morons? This is why we're getting killed in the marketplace. Instead of listening to what people want, you're telling them what they want. Homer, I need your help. You do? Yeah. I want you to help me design a car. A car for all the Homer Simpsons out there. 
and I want to pay you $200,000 a year, and I want to let you. Homer, meet my team of engineers. They're going to build your car. Hiya, team. Now, boys and girls, this project is our top priority. Everything else is on hold. I don't want to see anything until it's finished. <laughs> Direct all your questions to Mr. Homer Simpson, the man with the vision. The man who's going to bust this company out of its rut. The man who's going to change American transportation forever. So, uh, what kind of car would you like, Mr. Simpson? I don't know. <gasps> oh, boy. Hey, Homer, how's your car coming? Oh, fine. You're putting in an onboard something or other and racking peanut steering, I guess. Homer. Huh? You didn't ask for rack and pinion steering, did you? Uh, yeah, I think I did. How could you ask for it? You don't even know what it is. You just called it rack and peanut steering. Uh, may I be excused, please? Homer, do you know why I gave you this job? Because you think I'm a genius? <laughs> I don't think you're a genius. Oh, because you think I'm dynamic? I don't think you're dynamic. You think I work well with others? No, 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 no. Homer, I gave you this job because you're an average schmo! Oh, great. All you need is a little self-confidence. Oh, and Key Herb, I don't know let, anything let, about let, cars. Let, let, listen to me. Here's what you do. From now on, before you say anything, say to yourself, if I was ever sure of anything, I'm sure of this. You understand? It's sort of. Homer! What? Answer me again with self-confidence. Sort of! Now go get him! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the car designed for the average man, the Homer. No! <gasps> oh! Any questions? What, what does this monstrosity cost? Jerry, what's the sticker price? $82,000? This monstrosity cost $82,000. What have I done? I mean, the show was fun, but I ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Herb, because of me, you lost your business, your home, and all your possessions. I can't help but think that maybe you would have been better off if I'd never come into your life. Maybe I'd have been better off. Maybe? Why, you spongehead? Of course I'd have been better off. As far as I'm concerned, I have no brother. Well, maybe he just said that to make conversation. His life was an unbridled success until he found out... He was a Simpson.